So we're going to go ahead and do problem 7. Problem 7 says, find each value of x at which the graph of f of x is equal to x times 3x plus 6 all this cubed. has a horizontal tangent line. Alright, three, three things we need to recall. We need to recall that f prime of x is equal to the slope m, very important. The chain rule states that if you have a function that's equal to a composition of functions, the derivative of that function is just the derivative of the outer function times the derivative of the inner function. Okay? The product rule. If you have a function that has a function times another function, the derivative of that function is equal to the derivative of the first function times the original times the second function plus the derivative of the second function times the original function, g. Okay? Alright, so now let's read this again. We need to find all x at which the graph of this function has a horizontal tangent line. Alright, quick example. Let's say we had some graph here that looks something like this. Okay? The horizontal tangent line, what does that mean? That means that you need to find these x values here and the x value here. Let's call this x0, x or x0 here, x1 here, such that you have this tangent, this horizontal tangent line. The horizontal tangent line means that the slopes here are equal to zero. Okay? So it's just an abstract, I just pulled this out, a, a graph, and then I just showed you that we need to find these x values that give us a, a horizontal tangent line. Okay? So I'm gonna erase this. That's just an example. Let's go ahead and apply it to this. We know that f prime is equal to m, and we know that horizontal horizontal tangent line implies that m must be zero. Okay, so how can we find m with this function? We take the derivative, because the derivative is m, and then we equate it to zero. Okay, so let's go ahead and take the derivative of this function. Okay, to take the derivative of this function, we have a function times another function, so we must use the product rule. Inside that product rule, we're going to have to use the chain rule because you have an outer function, which is something cubed, and you have the inner function, which is 3x plus 6. Okay? So let's go ahead take the derivative. All right, so the product rule. Take the derivative of x. What's the derivative of x? 1. All right, so we have 1 times, keep that the same, okay, plus, product rule, the derivative of this guy. All right, the derivative of this guy is the chain rule. So let's take the derivative of the outer function, which would be something cubed. So the derivative of something cubed is bring the 3 down times this, and then 3 minus 1 is 2, times the derivative of the inner function. The derivative of this guy is 3. Okay? And then times g of x. So it would be just times x. Let's go ahead and do some algebra here. So we already did the calculus. Let's go ahead and we can, from these two, we can factor out 3x plus 6. Let's go ahead and factor that out. Okay. We're left in the inside with 1 plus, sorry, we're left with inside here. We're left with one of these plus. 3 times 3, 9, and 9x. Nine 9x. Nine okay? Alright. So now, let's go ahead and 9x plus 3x, 12x. So we have prime of x is equal to this, plus 6 squared, times 12x plus 6. Okay? So that's factored. But we know the horizontal tangent line must equal zero, so we gotta make this equal to zero and then solve for the x's. Okay, so let's make this equal to zero. Okay, so if you have something times something equal to zero, that means this is zero or this is zero. Okay, all right, let's go ahead and solve this. Well, you square root both sides, so the square is gone. 
So you're left with 3x plus 6 equals 0. Move the 6 to the other side and divide by 3. So you have x equals negative 2. So that's one value that will give you a slope 0 at that point, at, at that x value. All right, this one. Move the 6 over and divide by 12. So that's negative 6 divided by 12. And that's negative 1 half. And there you go. Those are the two x values. So find each x value at which the graph. So if you plug in x here, you're going to have a horizontal tangent line of 0, m equals 0. OK, so to recap, we have to do the, we have to do the product rule in order to find the derivative of this function. And inside that product rule, we had a chain rule. So we had to apply the chain rule. Once we do that, we factored. And now we have something times something equals 0. And that means that, that this something is equal to 0, or this something is equal to 0. And we just solve for the x values, and that's it.